mechanism of the flow of electric charges in a metallic conductor okay so as you all know that in a metallic conductor that means in a metal we have large number of free electrons so these free electrons mean <coughs> they are those electrons which can be easily detached from the nucleus like if this is an atom and this is the nucleus now if this is the free electron i mean if this is the last electrons present you know in this shell then this electrons because it is at a far distance compared to those electrons present you know in the inner orbits so this electrons will become free from the attractions of the nucleus so this type of electrons is called uh, free electrons so in a conductor generally metal we have large number of free electrons of these type of free electrons because you know every matter is made up of atoms so suppose like if one atom produce one free electrons then within a small pieces of uh, you know a conductor we can have million number of atoms so when million number of atoms are there then you will get million number of free electrons okay okay so now if this free electrons here leave the atom if this free electron leave the atom then the atom now become a positive ion okay become a positive ion so please remember here that in a conductor we have both free electrons and positive ion okay so these positive ion i'm showing with a circle and a plus inside it okay and these dot here these dots here represents the free electrons okay so what happened these free electron as i told you right mm, they are moving randomly inside the atom i mean inside the conductor and as they do so what happen is they will collide with the positive ions of the metal okay as well as with the other free electrons so hence these moving free electrons okay when you take the average of their motions then the average speed or we can say the average motions of these free electrons is zero average okay i'll write here average motion of all electrons is zero okay right why it is so because these free electrons they collide with the positive ions of the metal as well as with the other free electrons so as a result you know their average motion right results to zero okay now suppose i connect the two ends of the metallic conductor to a potential difference v so when you connect a potential free uh, when you connect a potential difference v then this potential difference right will produce an electric field okay inside the conductor and this electric field let's say it is directed in this way from left to right okay but the presence of this electric field you know it will exert a force right if the charge we are considering there you know the free charge that is uh, you know moving here is electron so these electrons now they are under the actions of electric field and if they are under the actions of electric field then each charged particle here that mean each electrons will experience a force f which is equals to minus e e all right where e is the charge of each electron and e is the applied electric field and this negative sign it is just because it is electron so electron is a negatively charged particle all right so now this force f is equals to minus e e it is acting where in which direction this force it is actually acting opposite to the applied field okay so when an electric field is given to a metal or to a conductor we could see here that each free electrons will be experiencing a force minus e e and hence 
these electrons now will be accelerated opposite to the electric field that means these electrons now will be moving towards the positive charge of the I mean to the positive terminal of the cell okay so the motions now these electrons again do right even after applying electric field to the to the conductor the collisions of these free electrons with the positive ion or with the other free electrons it is still there it is still there but their motion in this case it will not be equals to zero because why now all free electrons now will experience all i mean that force that kind of force which is trying to pull all the electrons to move the positive terminal so when electric field is applied to the metal the average motion will no longer be zero but now the motions will be non-zero or we can say now these electrons begins to constitute or we can see these moving electrons now as they move towards the positive terminal so therefore they will produce an electric current okay because electric current is actually defined as the motions of charge so when charge are in motion we get electric current and if the electrons are moving in this direction in this direction which is opposite to the field but the electric current here I'm taking it is not the motions of it is not the directions of motions of electron but it is opposite to the motions of free electrons free electrons are moving towards this side electric current is going this side because this current that we are using here it is a conventional current so conventional current mean it is a current which is actually due to the motions of positive charge because when you know when 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 they discovered about electric current at that time these electrons has not been known to the scientists so they always think that the motions of proton at the time because proton was discovered before uh, you know discovered uh, before the electrons so at that time they knew only about protons so they thought that the motions of proton which is a positive charge it constitute electric current but actually here we found that it is the motions of the electrons that constitute electric current so when you consider the motions to be the positive due to the positive charge then the electric current will be along the motion of the positive charge but here because the motion is due to negative charge so therefore the, the electric currents will be opposite to the motions of the electrons and this type of current is known as a conventional current all right okay now <clears throat> we shall see in the next video because these electrons are drifted towards the positive terminal so therefore each free electrons in this case will be having or they will uh, possesses uh, a one uh, one uh, they will possesses a velocity which we call a drift velocity drift velocity so we shall see about this in the next video